Hey everybody, Brad C here. Just finished assembling my Techni Mobile desk and I love it. Very heavy duty, very sturdy. And if you finish, you will have only left the instructions, some extra spare parts, and the free screwdriver that comes with this. Okay, let's take a look at this desk. Now, I will add that it doesn't mention anything about this, but I believe the bottom here is actually to where you can adjust this. If you want this just a little bit higher, you could do that, but I think it's going to be perfect for me. Nice storage space in here. Everything locks up tight. These two drawers are the same size, and you have a little bit larger drawer down here. Plenty of space for anything you need. Now, this is what I really wanted. A very sturdy, heavy-duty setup. Now, obviously, I wouldn't sit on this, but this is, you know, I'm pushing down here pretty good, and there's not a bit of bend. And as you can see, it's got pretty heavy-duty braces. So that's important for me. I wanted something that is going to be sturdy, last a while, and obviously, I'm not going to leave it in my kitchen, but I just brought it in here to assemble it because I wanted to make sure that I didn't lose any of the little parts and just thought this would be a good place to assemble it and then I can move it into the computer room. Now the weight capacity for this is 80 pounds. The weight capacity for this is 30 pounds and all these drawers have a 22 pound weight capacity. Now this wood is not wood. It has an appearance of wood but it's obviously a fake type wood but it feels very sturdy and this desk I'm just going to push on it here push on it really hard and it's, you know, it's not by any means wobbly no wobble to this desk now for anybody interested I will be showing you just a little bit of the assembly and showing you some tips on that but I'm not gonna do a full detailed assembly of this I will just say that it is not for the impatient this will take you about four hours and yes and it won't take any kind of serious mechanical skills because I have none but if you can use a Phillips head screwdriver and use a cam lock system and it's not gonna be anything that difficult probably a sixth grader could put this together and not have a problem it just they need to be very patient because it's going to take a long time I'm going to be testing this desk out and I will do some updates on it possibly but as of now I highly recommend this there's a reason it has almost five solid stars on Amazon so I would definitely suggest it I'll put links down in the description click on that link and just by looking you will help support the channel so I appreciate that Make sure you like, subscribe, you can check me out at bradctv.com. Okay, if you want to stick around, I'm going to talk a little bit about the installation of this, and we'll go from there. First thing I want to show you is the packing is really nice. You can see here there was a, a sheet of foam over this, and then everything's packed in there. And then here's the other box. It actually came in two separate boxes, and this one is surrounded by foam on both sides, and then and here is the little parts. Wow, I see why this is considered a daunting task. I've literally laid the parts out, starting with one, part one, and going all the way around. And as you can see, there are a lot of parts. I've got them one through 36, I believe. Then they go A through K, which are these little different screws and nuts. And then they give you some spares. And here's a screwdriver, which is pretty cool. Got a free screwdriver, Phillips head. Here's the instructions. I just want to show you that every part is labeled very clearly. There's part one, part two. Now the only parts that aren't clearly labeled are parts three, but you'll see from the picture what they are. And also part eight, which again, you can see the pictures and know that's part eight. But everything else, as you know, these are all part sevens, but you know everything's clearly labeled other than those few parts. Now, I'm not going to show you the whole assembly of this; it would just take way too much time. But I do want to show you something very important, and that is that you know how to use this cam system. This is a cam bolt, cam lock system, and this will work well. But you need to make sure you're doing this right. If you start screwing these things in, and you screw it into the wrong hole, and it's supposed to be maybe on this side, now you're going to have to undo that, and you can actually get this thing to where you're screwed. <laughs> so cannot mess up on the size of the hole. I mean, I'm sorry, the size of the part or which side of it it's on. 
on. Very careful. Don't tighten these things up very tight at all until you get everything in place and make sure that it says to go ahead and tighten it up. And that's all I'm going to say about this whole assembly process. It's all the same things. Mainly this, this cam lock system. Just a quick tip, this will come with a free Phillips head screwdriver, which is nice, but this little tiny screwdriver is not super comfortable. And luckily my father-in-law just got me a new tool set and this one actually has a torqueable end where you know I can stick something through there and actually torque on this if I need to, to, to put some extra oomph into it. So you might want to have a nice comfortable Phillips head screwdriver. Just wanted to point something out. Now here you can see on page six where it says sometimes the hole might be too small and you're supposed to punch it out with, I don't know, they, they show some sort of a punch here. I don't know, I don't, I don't see that included. So basically what I'm doing is, you're gonna find that at least on mine here, these two holes and on this one over here, um, they're just too small. So you're gonna take your screwdriver and punch it out a little bit. Same thing with that one and same thing with these two. Okay, we are at the point now when we have both of the towers connected by this middle piece. And now we're going to put this fully assembled top on. And I would just wanted to point out that make sure you get these on the right side. And I made the big mistake of taking left and right stickers off. Big mistake. So then I had to really look at the pictures and figure out. But remember, you want this to be sliding to where it pops out. See where these are at? You don't want it to be turned the other way, sliding this way. You want it to be sliding out. Okay, thanks for watching, and make sure you like, subscribe, and you can check me out at bradctv.com.